the road, sun shining, wind blowing through our hair? Excuse me, where are we? This is the Florida Highway, Flea, a thoroughfare for muscly sailors and skippers. Attention listeners, please be advised, two brilliant hair scientists have escaped from the Hair Reformatory for Men. They were last seen careening down the Florida Highway at a high rate of speed. <laughs> they are armed with styling wands and are to be considered extremely dangerous. We now return to our regularly scheduled program. Moxie, 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 something's been bothering me. What, Flea? What's up with that nappy, wappy orange stew you got working? Convertible hair. Hey, at least I got hair. All you got is, um, um, uh, what is that on your head? This, my friend, is a brim, and it's down by law. Like Father Kemp's, our planet faces a catastrophic catastrophe. Clump after clump, our citizens are experiencing rapid hair loss. The dreaded Nair virus is upon us. It won't be long until all of us are hairless and pink. Our only hope lies with two brilliant runaway hair scientists from the planet Earth, who are at this moment speeding down the Florida highway, the thoroughfare for muscly sailors and skippers. Your mission is to bring them back to our planet. Suck the hair growth information out of their brains. And, you know, do some other things. But it, Chief. No problem. We're there, Chief. Hmm. Maybe if I comb it forward, use some styling moose. <laughs> Moxie, 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 something's been bothering me. Yes, Flea? You're a dog, right? That's correct. Well, dogs can't drive. Oh, yeah? Who said? Classic couldn't drive. Oh, well, okay, that's true. <laughs> Scooby couldn't drive either. Yeah, he could. I saw him tooling around in that mystery machine. No, 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 no. Shaggy, waggy, doggy, dog drove the mystery machine. Shaggy's a dog! Shaggy a dog? Where is it? Shaggy a dog! No, he just has a beard. Now cats, cats can drive. Now if you're a cat, I feel a whole lot more comfortable. But how about Rin Tin Tin, huh? Now Rin Tin Tin wasn't a cat, no, no. Rin Tin Tin was a walking dog. You're right. So I guess dogs can't drive. Why do you always have to bring that up, Flea? I have no problem letting us both go up in a sheet of flame. Cause it's the truth. Don't do that to me, Flea. You just gotta nag and nag and nag and nag. It drives me crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bite my... I am so close to buying rain. Woo! The brilliant scientists in my vector scope. Comments, particle pants, forage. Fabulous! Good plan! Good plan! Good plan! Excellent! Good plan! Fabulous! Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do a particle transfer. Good plan! Love it! Particle transference! Let's see! Time for lunch! Comments, particle transference! Right! Got lunch! <laughs> Fried chicken. Oh. Oh. I don't understand this. Our brain probe shows no reading. The intelligence content of the orange one here is nil. The purple one, however, seems a little brighter. He may be of some value to us. Excuse me, um, don't take this the wrong way, but... Who are you? I am Dale! 
from the Chimp Planet. Oh, hello, Dale. I'm Moxie, and this is my friend Flea. Flea, Dale, Dale, Flea. You two kids uh, have a lot. Now, McGilla, where are we? Where's our ride? Do not be alarmed. We have brought you here because of your brilliant scientific accomplishments. A uh, brilliant scientific accomplishments. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hey, uh, pull my other leg and play Jingle Bell, Chimp Boy. We need your intelligence to create inexpensive hair replenishment products. Silence! We require hair! Full-bodied, bouncy, and behaving hair! Silky to the touch, and all so mental! And you will help us achieve this! Attach the brain-sucking machine to the tiny one! Give the orange one to Tony! Let the sadistic banana farmer subject him to his own vile experiments! There's not a moment to waste! Wake up, little fella! Uh, Wake up! Wake up! I think I'm gonna hurl, Dad. Uh, no. I'm not your dad. I'm Tony. Welcome to the Chimp Planet. Chimp Planet? That's right. The Chimp Planet. Ah, oh, and you're a fluorescent orange chimp? No. I'm a banana farmer. I harvest the yellow fruit so desired by dwellers of the Chimp Planet. Tony, um, between you and me, can you stop saying Chimp Planet? Chimp Planet. Yeah, fine, okay. What have you done with Flea? Your little insect friend is safe. Come, walk with me, and I will take you to the many devices. Okay. Cool, yeah. Say, Tony, what'll this puppy do? Oh, about 190. You're gonna pull about seven G's. Enough to flatten a man's brain against the back of his head. Good thing I'm a dog. All right, pop the clutch, banana boy, let's rock. Crank it up, let's rumble. Body stretcher? Come on, what's up with that? Stand by for the painful brain sucking device! The skin crawlingly, bone scrapingly painful brain sucking device? The disgustingly, maliciously, needle in the eyeball painful brain sucking device? No! Just the painful brain sucking device! The only one we got! The brain sucking device? Ooh, that sounds painful. Hey, why don't you disconnect this thing, all right? And I'll send you some bananas. The ear monitor bananas. means I can! How much you want? A uh, hundred bushels? Two hundred bushels? Notice the stuttering bananas. and the sweaty yeah, head! Okay. Banana pie, banana sausage, banana splits, banana, nana, nana! Our bit temperature oh, reads at 11, doctor! Man, you don't want to get those babies up any high, I'm telling you! Oh, you think it's foul in here? What would James Brown say? Whoa, fuck in here! Ridiculous babbling! Observe! Yes! Shuts off the foremost frontal lobe of the brain, causing it to ramble incessantly. Fascinating! Intriguing! Fascinating! Whoa! It is too fucking in here! And this sequence! Hold it! Time out! What's the brain sucking sequence? I don't like to hear the word brain and suck in the same sentence. I'm just crazy like that. Yes. Well, we sit you down in a comfy chair. Oh, it's very comfy. Uh, and we put your feet up, then we strap. Hard on straps. Very durable. Your head into a vice and jam a hose in your ear. Of your choice. Of course. And hook the hose up to a high-powered electronic intelligence sucking machine. Very sophisticated device. State of the art. Well, you please hush. Uh, finally, we'll gather all the hair replenishment information that's stored in your brain and use it to develop inexpensive hair products that will save our race from humiliation. Yep. Yep. Well, why didn't you say that? Here, let me give you my cup. I can help you. I can save you time. I can save you money. And the heartbreak of raw pink monkey skin, I'm your fleet. I'm not so sure. How will you help us regain our lustrous locks? Chill, Sherlock Homie Holmes. It's very simple. All I need is a laboratory and my trusted canine assistant. And in no time, no tizime. When I say no time, I'm talking yesterday. You'll enjoy luxurious shimmering locks. What you think about that? I thought you'd think you'd like well, it. Well, I suppose I'll give you a chance. Let's hope it's not too late to save your trusty assistant from Tony, the sadistic banana farmer. Oh, and by the way, if you screw up, your brains are mine! 
50,000 gigawatts of electric power. Oh, great. Look at me. I'm the queen. Thank you, sir. Can I have another? Yeah! <laughs> oh, baby. Attention. All orange dogs currently being electrocuted, spun about, poked, or prodded, please report to the laboratory. And shoppers, don't forget our everyday low prices on he-monkey undergarments. Ah! Just when I was getting into it. Every time. It was great for me, too. Toodles, noodles. Stay tuned, Tater Tots. Moxie and Flea will return in two shakes from Monkey's Tail. Brought to you by He-Monkey Underwear and the He-Monkey family of undergarments. Hey, America, don't get your BVDs in a bunch. The Moxie and Flea show is back. Hey, Flea, you know, this trip planet isn't all that bad. I just met the nicest guy. We went on some rides and had some prizes and snacks and Don't treats. you understand, Moxie? We have just minutes to discover a hair replacement technique or these chips will pop up in our heads and pinch out our brains. What do you mean? Read my thought bubble. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, I think really hard, and I get all frowny like this, right? And sometimes it hurts me. Look, whoa! Our ball pink leader awaits. If you screw up, your brains are mine. Moxie, you see that guy over there? Hey, make me hairy. We got to get this guy some hair pronto, OK? Come on, help me with this. A little bit of this. Here, take this and sprinkle a drop on the chimp's head. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? Trust me, you look good. Uh, dynamite. Here, try this one. <laughs> hey, quit warm up my head. The bald pink crispy look is in. Don't turn away back. Ooh, okay. Here, I think this is the one. Moxie, quick! Grab him up! Mop up this chip! Ooh, the grid's gonna hit the fan. What we gonna do, what we gonna do, what we gonna do? Silky gradient head of hair. The texture is, is luxuriant, and the sheen simply remarkable. I'm I, I'm beautiful. I'm the most beautiful monkey of all. We, you're a hero. You've saved our planet from the embarrassment of raw pink monkey skin. Thank you, Flea. Are forever grateful. No sweat, monkey man. 100 steps for flea equals one giant leap for my chips. Come on and let's get all the way live, everybody. Help me do the monkey booty. Watch me now. Shake my groove thing. Thank you, kind chimp citizens. Yes, Moxie. Years of difficult labor in my scientific studies of science have made me smart enough to stop the evil And you must be looking brother. super fly. You give it up to the monkey. I'm an out of control dancing dog machine. Yes! Hip, hip, hoo, hair! We're sending you guys back home now. Not a moment to spare. No, 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 no. We're having too much fun. We want to stay. There's plenty of spare moments. Please. No, no, no more moments. We appreciate your help, but your car is vectored into the system. If you don't leave now, you won't get another departure vector for 67 years. Commence particle transference! Okay, they're gone! Break out the good stuff! That was more fun than a barrel full of raw pink monkeys. I wanted a flag with my picture to fly proudly over Chimpland. After all I did for them, 
No flag? What a gif! I was robbed! I told you dogs can't drive! Hey, I told you not to say that! But it's true! It's not. You can't drive? I can so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now, well, look at that tree! Is there such thing as monkey underwear? <laughs>